Hi guys, it's HBOT and welcome back to a brand new video. Now I'm sure you can see, we're not in my normal studio. We are of course in Las Vegas for CES 2019. That's not a bad view from the bedroom window, eh? I could wake up to that view every single day of the week. I've got tons of content coming from this week, but in today's video, we're talking about some of the greatest products coming out of LG this year. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Now firstly, because as you well know, when you're on the road and you're in hotel rooms, the lighting, the audio is never quite as good. So I apologize if both are a bit iffy, but we'll battle on. I know for a fact the content is gonna be worth your while sticking around. Now on the first day of CES 2019, I was lucky enough to be given a VIP tour of the LG booth. And that included the likes of, and, and not including, and, in, and more. I don't know. A moving wall-mounted soundbar, a roll-up TV. I know, right? Some more examples of amazing Bluetooth speakers in partnership with Meridian Audio. Some of the brand new laptops, monitors, etc. A projector that you can literally put like half a meter away from a wall and get an 120 inch projection that works well in daylight as well. There was an OLED TV waterfall, which is quite possibly one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I mean, I need that in my house the house probably isn't big enough, to be honest, to fit that, but that's the dream, one day. And while I was there, they gave me this, which says ASBYT in Korean. How cool is that? So without further ado, let's jump straight to the first product of the day. Right, so the first thing you'll notice when you enter the LG CES booth, well, it's impossible not to, is the OLED waterfall, or the curve of nature, as it's also been referred to as. Now this is 260 connected, curved OLED TV panels. It's just insane, and definitely one of my favorite things of the whole convention. I was literally there for about half an hour, just staring. <laughs> Then once inside the LG booth, it actually splits into different sections. And we're gonna start with the audio side of things in the X-Boom part. So the first thing in this section that I'm gonna talk about is their brand new LG soundbar. And there are two great features with this that you may not notice at first. One is it's wall mounted. Excellent for those of you who have your TV, for example, mounted on the wall. And the soundbar has the ability to move so it can go from flat against the wall with the speakers front firing towards you or it can raise up so that the sound travels up past the screen up towards the ceiling filtering the sound up over the top also known as height elevation it has surround sound with 4.1.2 channel is compatible with dolby atmos dtsx and it comes with a voice assistant and like pretty much all new audio products from LG, they have partnered with UK-based Meridian Audio to produce these products. They specialize in unrivaled DSP technology, which basically balances the sound as the volume increases, so it never sounds distorted. Now this soundbar, like with many LG products this year, has won the award for best innovation CES 2019. Next up, we have more examples of the X-Boom Go Bluetooth speakers. Now you may have seen me already review examples of these on my channel before, before, but here at CES, we've just been given more examples of the different sizes, etc., that you can get, including a white version and this absolute monster. It's it's almost human size. <laughs> Again, using Meridian technology, the sound quality is just awesome. And not only is the bass incredibly punchy, look at this little feature on the side. Who doesn't want to see a vibrating panel? Now talking about absolute monsters, look at this McDaddy, the LG X-Boom. Now if you're organizing a party, this is your man or, or woman. I'm not really sure of its gender. <laughs> wow, we're getting sidetracked. But with its 2000 watts and 12 inch woofer, it has ridiculously powerful bass, a built-in DVD player, multicolored lighting and rear light show, a karaoke function, and you can connect up to 10 units together. Not really sure why you'd want to, and I'd hate to be your neighbor, but you can do it. And finally, we have one of my favorite new devices in the audio section, an update to the AI ThinQ smart speaker. Now I currently use the original smart speaker all the time at home, especially for streaming off YouTube music, for example. But now in this iteration, you can see video as well. Great for media consumption like YouTube. Now, as far as I'm aware, there are only three companies that actually do this. 
but having listened to the sound quality, I would strongly argue LG have implemented this best. And also for those privacy minded people out there, there is also a mic mute and camera off button as well. So now we jump onto one of the most talked about products of CES 2019, the LG Rollable TV. And it does pretty much just that. When in screen down mode, the form factor is tiny considering inside fits a whopping 65 inch 4K TV inside. Now when the screen is down, it pretty much just looks like a fairly substantial sized soundbar and the device does have a front facing speaker in it as well, but then. Now, if we dissect a little further, it's a 4K OLED TV. It's got rich, vibrant colors, deep, inky blacks, and great viewing angles. It has three modes, down, up, and just a little less than halfway, or I believe it's called the line mode. Great for checking weather and stuff like that. Now, without going into too much detail on the mechanics of it all, it basically has lots of individual pieces on the side bezels that can adjust pretty much like a tank wheel. Probably the strangest description of the TV yet, but LG, if you want to rebrand it and call it the LG Tank TV, you're more than welcome to use it. Just credit me. <laughs> Available to buy, I've been told, by the third quarter onwards, no confirmed release date obviously, but I'm for one, I'm super excited about this. This is innovation. Next up, we have the latest and greatest monitors from LG, including an ultra wide, curved 49 inch quad hd one which you can actually stack two together one on top of the other and you can already split the screen in two so theoretically you can have four things going on in front of you at once not only is this great for people that have a lot of space at home but also mainly for businesses we have quad hd and quad hd plus ultra gear gaming monitors that have light rings behind them or sphere lighting 2.0, which it's also called. And you can sync either visual or audio to these lights, depending of course on your preference. With a DCI P3 98% color gamut and a 144 Hertz refresh rate, these certainly are great gaming monitors. Next up, we have the brand new LG Gram. And these are a brand new range of laptops with ultra slim bezels. And with their new design, the laptop can actually feature in its largest variant, a 17 inch WQXGA screen in a 15.6 inch body. It is the lightest 17 inch laptop in the world. And with an accompanying pen, an apparent all day battery and the ability to flip almost flat back on itself makes this range a must consider for people who need a great portable device. It has configuration options of Intel 8th Gen, i3, i5 and i7 CPU and a storage of up to one terabyte. And I must say, this space gray trend in tech can absolutely continue. I love it. Space gray and carbon fiber, everything. <laughs> Next up is one of my favorites and awesome for movie buffs out there, the LG Cinebeam HU8 5L. Wow, that was a mouthful. In short, it's a projector that because of its angled design, you can actually place this two inches away from the desired wall for a 90 inch 4K projection or just seven inches away for an 120 inch one. Insane. This new version with its 2500 ANSI lumens means a much brighter projection so the room doesn't actually have to be really dark in order for the projection to have clear visuals. It has a designated speaker in the front, voice control remote, Google Assistant and Amazon Echo compatibility and when released this summer 2019, like the rollable TV, it could really make clutter in the home a thing of the past. Also in the LG booth were smartphones such as the LG G7 Fit, the LG G7 One, an Android One phone providing a budget product with a stock Android experience, and of course the V40 ThinQ, their latest flagship. Now I'm not gonna go into too much detail on these three products. If you want me to go into more detail, feel free to follow me on Twitter and drop me a question over there. Now there are many more items inside the LG booth, including a couple of important mentions, the likes of assistant robots like Chloe that apparently helps you shop, etc. 
Don't think I'm quite ready for that, but some people are going to be very interested in it for sure. The LG Home Brew Machine, which basically allows you to create your own beer, meaning you never have to go to the shop for your alcohol refreshment ever again. Although the process takes around 15 days once the brew starts, providing the equivalent to about 10 beers or so. So maybe I'll hold off on this one for now. And as the sun's going down in the Nevada desert, in Las Vegas, it's time to end this video and go and check out Las Vegas by night. Don't do that. Was that some bad dancing? I've got tons more videos coming up the rest of this week, including the world's first foldable phone, 8K TVs, aspect ratio changing displays, and everything weird and wonderful in between, as you may well have seen from my Twitter and Instagram posts this week. All that behind the scenes magic that you might just miss if you're only following me here on YouTube. So if you wanna see all of that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you turn the notification bell on so when I post those videos, you are notified. Like and share if you did enjoy this video and find it helpful. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Probably still in Las Vegas because I'm here for the week. Say it's BYT, peace out.